What's up, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with ISO 8s for Shield. Shield minions, Colson Shield. The shield that people use, not characters with the shield tag. You know what I'm talking about. And again, we're back onto teams that have like multiple different options. Can't wait till you see Hydra, right? Um, this is a core concept of a team. Um, there are some positives, some negatives, and I'm going to say this right now so a lot of people can tune off. If you are a person who believes, just put crit on all of them, yuck, yuck, you're wrong. Don't watch the rest of this video because it's just going to challenge your worldview in a way that I don't think you're comfortable with. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Uh, and by the beginning, I mean the worst character and kind of move on. So uh, while, yes, Raider is very good in a lot of characters, some characters better than other on shields. The first being Shield Trooper. If, you're, if there's a situation in which you're using Shield Trooper... Um, in the game, you really want to take advantage of how uh, his assist and his passive on crit reduce speed bar by 25%. They're basically the same thing. Because on crit, they do that, increases crit, right? Like, doesn't matter. On his own, great. With the team buff crit, great. That's where you want to be. So there's nothing really else aside from that. Even outside of his team, if you have him in between two tanks, like whenever he crits, he does more. Him having more crit increases that chance. Now, there are diminishing returns on crit. For example, you have zero crit, you're never going to crit. You have 25% chance to crit. That means one out of every four attacks. You know, simple math. 50% chance to crit. That means one out of every two. 75, three out of four. Okay, we're on the same page, cool. The point is, there's like diminishing returns. So like if you're at 65% chance, that's roughly two out of three, and that's a good at math. That means like every other attack is going to crit, which is totally reasonable. Anything in between there, like if you're at 55%, that fundamentally doesn't change the math in any meaningful way for the gameplay for you. So you really are just trying to look for key milestones when it comes to anything with regarding crit. Because crit is still just a slight increase in damage on most characters. He's an exception. Give him Raider. Don't think anything else about it. Uh, another argument is Shield Operative. Now, Shield Operative has uh, two really good options. The first is Skirmisher. Um, just from what she does. Snapshot, clearing the effect and giving it to Nick Fury. So Skirmisher is great. Plus uh, a lot of the assists will end up coming from her uh, since they're constantly assisting each other. You always want somebody to put on, at the very least, a buff. So Skirmisher on her is really good, uh, especially if you're still using them on the team for one reason or another. Very few people are using her on that team. Once you get someone like Coulson, he kind of replaces her. Um, so once that happens, she becomes more of a utility character, and in those situations, because of her utility, because of her uh, assists, again, you do want to lean on crit, you know? Again, especially if you don't have someone like Shield Assault on the fight. Um, can't wait till we get to Shield Assault, by the way. So, crit's fine on her, I'm using it because of uh, like a minion version of a Blitz team I'm using, but realistically, Skirmisher is the best thing you can put on her. Healer, you would think, like, well, she heals, right? Like, not really. She also doesn't have a health pool worth a damn. Um, it's pretty low. She's a minion. It makes sense. Uh, and it's not super relevant. Also, the heal is... Everything is questionable, right? The heal is very low. The, the regen stacks are kind of where everything comes in. You can put healer on her. And that's pretty much it. You don't really have to worry too much about it. Those are the three major options. Moving to Shield Assault, you'll notice I haven't put anything on her. Because her passive says, on war defense, or whatever, <laughs> Fury Shield characters gain 40% crit chance. Now, but Tony, you don't have this at Tier 5. Yeah, of course I don't. Because, like I just said, previously on X-Men, <laughs> level, like... Plus 40% crit to shield characters makes it 50%. Going to plus 50% crit makes it 60. So I go from every other crit, every other attack is a crit, to like sometimes 
6 out of 10. Sometimes I'll get back to back. You know, like it, the math doesn't change. If it with ISO on crit, it will for her. For her specifically. But she doesn't do anything from critting. Nothing she does matters from critting. Doing a little bit extra damage, no big deal. This kind of matters a little, though. 50% chance to remove one positive effect. So I put Skirmisher on her. I'll do it right now in front of everybody. She gets Skirmisher. First of all, she's a blaster, so it's not even, like, that big of a deal. You can justify damage, too. You can justify crit just from a perspective of hitting multiple characters and doing damage. Like, totally a reasonable investment. You can justify Striker on her. For me, I want her to have a little bit more focus, and I want her uh, to be able to place the attack. So for me, I'm putting Skirmisher on her, and I don't even think you need to go too high into it. She's a character that you don't have to put a lot of ISOs into. Even if you do want to switch to, to Raider, you know, that extra 15%, that's going to bring her to 65%. So every attack she does will have a pretty decent chance. Again, for placing vulnerables, totally reasonable. Probably using this on the team. If you have the investment already, this goes to a 75% crit chance if you put the tier 4. So, no. You gotta get a little bit further up. <laughs> Sorry, at max investment. Um, it goes reasonably high. Uh, so, at that point, yeah, crit does make sense on her. Just because you'll be critting more. But also, Skirmisher does make sense too if you're not wanting to put tier 4. So look at it more of a puzzle. Like, would I rather put tier 4s in a character that I don't really use too often? Or would I rather put ISO 8s in a character? Which ones are harder to come by? As far as I know, ISO 8s are super easy to come by. And all it costs you is like a couple of days worth of farming. So for me, I have no problem putting Skirmisher on her. And then if I don't like that, putting Raider and vice versa, as opposed to spending tier fours on an ability that's going to take me a month to get back, and I'm not really going to feel the value of it. That's just me. Uh, crit's totally fine on her. And again, that's true. I said at the beginning, you could say crit on everything, but if that was the case, then we wouldn't have a conversation. Uh, Coulson is another one. Now, when Coulson crits... I don't believe anything of any mean like nothing happens. It doesn't matter if Colson crits. But he is attacking everybody all the time. Everyone is constantly being hit. He's chaining all the time. So of course, Raider works because it fills the slot. The problem is if everybody has Raider and everybody's popping vulnerables, they're just taking about 10% more damage, and you're not getting the full value of what this team could get. Even so far now that you see hybrid teams using like Coulson and Medic and Fury and you know like a weird setup of characters uh in war defense because Coulson does have a really good kit uh, for that reason I just increased his output of damage he does a really decent amount of damage uh, he's constantly putting things like offense up he's clearing buffs skirmisher is a very reasonable thing to put on him I just put damage on him yeah sure raider on everybody is easy you don't have to think about it. You could just put it on and then never move it past one. But if you're going to use these characters a little bit more reliably, like maybe for RTA, it's if you put Raider on everybody, you know, there's going to be issues with blocks. And one thing I will remind people is, in war, most people have Hanger for a good portion of the war. If they have the Hanger buff, all of those crits will never happen at the beginning of a fight with Fury Shield, because there's multiple different boosts or hanger buff uh, deflects on them. So the earliest stages of the attacks are never going to crit anyway. So you kind of want to change it up a little bit, but as time goes on, yeah, okay, it's somewhat reasonable. But again, this team is more suited for war defense. Uh, it's totally viable on war offense in early wars and totally viable for a lot of like raid content. Uh, at that point, yeah, you don't want crit on everybody. You want a little bit more sustain. I like damage on him. I think Skirmisher is also reasonable on him because of focus, but most of the time you don't really have to worry about focus with Coulson. Uh, shield Medic gets healer, and we're done. Uh, shield Security. Uh, yes, you can technically justify crit again on this character, but he does a ton of damage. 
uh, at higher levels. Now, what you don't notice is the damage number itself is very low. But the multipliers are pretty reasonably high, all things considered. Um, and he does have a base 50% crit chance. That's what I'm trying to convey to everybody. His base 50% crit chance is enough that on double hits, one of them should crit. So just increase the amount of damage, and that will end up being worth more than slightly increasing uh, the chance of something that was going to happen and moving it through. So for sealed security, just damage. There's really no reason for anything else. He's tanky. He blocks a lot. He doesn't need fortifier. Uh, just damage on him. And then Nick Fury. Uh, Icer is the only thing that benefits from crit. Past the 50% that he gets from being on that full team. Rally technically benefits from healing, but only on the shield team. And the team doesn't really need to worry. This is not really a heal so much as it's a buff spread or an emergency heal, at which point you don't need to worry too much about it. Uh, reinforcements, completely irrelevant, whatever you put on him. Uh, and then director of shield... Uh, not really much importance, you know, assists now. So because of the assists, I think Skirmisher works well on him. Uh, just his opportunity to hit when he does with Custom Icer. There's really nothing else, though. You can justify Healer just to take advantage of the fact that once in a while he'll heal. Uh, I just want Skirmisher on a number of characters in the team so I can constantly be procking and removing buffs with the the skirmisher buff so however the team is you always want to make sure you have a balance now some fights like the power armor team we talked about you don't really need anyone to take advantage of the vulnerable because the vulnerables are what they want the 10 percent extra damage is what that team wants you don't need anybody necessarily like double attacking with Bla with with striker that's not what that team's purpose is that team's purpose is giant aoe big number damage an extra 10 percent damage is what they're looking for so you're really just trying to put vulnerables on this team similar but this team is more speed and sustain oriented so you really want to make sure that you have a little bit of control available you want to make sure that there's a spread of buffs so for him i put skirmisher on him again obviously raider is fine Again, obviously, you can justify healer. Uh, I don't think he dies too quickly, so you, enough that you would have to worry about fortifier, but it's there. For me, Skirmisher just works really well with this character, especially as you break away from shield, which is what more and more people are doing right now. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I can't wait to look at the comment section just to see all the people who didn't stop watching uh, after I said, stop watching if you think Raider is right on everybody. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys. I don't at all. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.